So I know you've probably seen the Arbok and Weezing decks out there where you poison the Pokemon and then you prevent it from leaving. There's also another way to do that. You can also just paralyze them. So I have a deck that I forgot to put the name in, but I call it um, Electro Sludge. And this little dude right here, I hadn't been playing with, but he is pretty fun. I'm starting to find a lot of these cards that people don't really play with. Um, I don't see a lot of are really fun to play. Um, Electros, I call him Electrolysis though. That's I'm, we're, we're kind of on a nickname basis right now. So uh, he's really fun doing, doing 80 damage um, and then have a 50% chance to paralyze. That is tough. I've beat multiple Mewtwo decks. I just got done beating a Charizard deck. Uh, and it really does sometimes come down to luck, but also being able to do 80 damage is nice. Luck and 80 damage is nice, you know? Uh, I think that's really good. I also got Pin, I call him Pin Shuriken. I know his name is not Pin Shuriken. If you got a problem with that, you can uh, we can handle it in the comments. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's really awesome because he's just one form and you can still get paralysis on there, right? So, and it's too energy to do it. It's kind of expensive, but it's fine because for the first two stages of this Pokemon, uh, you're not going to be doing any paralysis, but you don't need anything except for one energy. I still like to throw two on him, uh, but this is a Pokemon that doesn't, if, if it goes first, it's kind of still okay. As long as the Pokemon on the other end is not like far-fetched or whatever, so it doesn't die but it's really nice to only have to have one energy for the second form to still be able to do 40 damage instead of 30. It's nice. And you get a little bit of a health boost too. Oh, a health boost. My God, my, my mouth, my tongue just got totally twisted. Um, but we also threw a surprise coughing in here. Now we don't have any dark energy, so we're not gonna be able to do the dark energy attack, which is okay. If this, if, if electrolysis only had one uh, electric energy, then I would opt to go for this, but because that and also Pinsure can, they both need, uh, two electrics. I'm just not going to even worry about it. It's, it's kind of hard to mix electric energy. Cause I think like one of the only Pokemon that on here that really matters that doesn't need it is, uh, Heliotopes and then, uh, Jolteon. Jolteon is nice. Cause it only needs one, one colorless, uh, and one electric, but, but besides that, um, this just adds in a little bit extra flavor with the coughing and the wheezing because you can, um, basically what you want to do is you're going to have something up out up front. If they kill it, maybe it's your pin pin shuriken or whatever. If they kill that, you're going to hope you have wheezing on the sideline. You drop wheezing in on your on on, on in your turn starts. You're going to poison them. You're going to back out with wheezing if you need to. If you don't need to, you can stay in for a little bit longer. Let that poison tick a little bit. Then you're going to Koga him out. And then you're going to go right into electrolysis and you're going to start slamming into them and hope you can paralyze them because the statuses will stack. They will not be able to attack the next turn. And also you will, um, they will not be able to retreat and you'll be dealing an extra amount of poison damage, which is really cool. Um, and I, I love it. They, they're stuck there. They can't, I've had people not even understand paralysis and still use X speeds, still, still go for some really stupid. They start struggling, man. It's like they ran out of all their Pokemon PP and they're just like, what do I do now? Uh, struggle and they'll, they'll do Sabrina and it doesn't even matter. I'll just like come back in. Like it doesn't really, they, they don't know what they're doing, but we got Pokeballs, Professor Research, uh, two Kogas, one Sabrina, one Giovanni. They can come in clutch when you do need them. Uh, but yeah, this deck was awesome. I had a lot of fun playing with it tonight. Um, it might go as one of my like top decks that I haven't been enjoying right now. So I uh, hope you guys try it out. Tell me if you like it. If you do drop it in the comments and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Guys, I'm I'm still upset about that fight. I'm, I can't stop. Oh man. I forgot I had these in my head. I knew I had one in my head, but I didn't know I had both. Oh, I'd forgotten. <laughs>
mine, mine. Baba Dang. Ba -ba -ba Jane, Baba Jane. Baba James. I believe I'm doing all right, man. As soon as you join, you talking about the fight I just finished watching. Yep. Yeah, I think everybody, most, most people just finished watching it. Me. Bad girls. Talking about them bad girls. I don't see a great card outside of the Paul Tyson fight. Yeah, it wasn't bad tonight besides that, man. It just... Ugh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm done for y'all. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Oh shit, the colors threw me off. He needs two dark. He only has one dark. There might still be hope. Are we battling with viewers right now? Right now, no. Come on, it could all come down to this. Oh my God. Oh, he still doesn't have one. He doesn't get one next turn either. He might have to, uh, he might have to get this out of here. He might have to Koga it or he might have to bag back. Like what's he gonna do? Trading has been announced. I thought it got announced like yesterday. Yeah, in January. Yeah, they got limited training in January. We love to get those heads. Although he's probably going to get out now. So if he doesn't get wheezing out next turn, I'm gonna. <laughs> is he gonna get? Is he gonna get this out? Nope, he kept it in. Yeah, so far Electros is actually pretty freaking good. I mean, 80 damage. 80 damage and you know it's not bad you know yeah i'm finna giovanni him he probably put this up here next turn and then go into um 
uh, Kadabra. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill his Abra next turn if he doesn't put anything else down. Well, never mind. He has a red card. You know, isn't that isn't that lovely? I only have one. What you call it, deck too? So probably not gonna get it. I can still kill Muck though. Oh sh. Well, it doesn't matter now. You know, I was thinking about flaring up a couple decks, so I'll hold off that actually just in case. I mean, you don't know how much it's gonna take. I have a ton of shine dust, so I don't know what I'll be doing, but you also have until January. So you have quite a bit of time. You think the solo event just gave us a bunch of dust? Is he gonna kill me now? Oh, he will. Oh wait, no, this is Kadabra. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was looking at that thing like, wait, wait. Wait a minute now. Now, he hasn't killed any of my mons yet, though, so. He might back up. Has he used any potions? He used one potion, so at the most, he can go to 70 right now. Okay. So he goes to 70. He will kill me, most certainly, but I can survive at least one with with wheezing, and now I can put in um I can survive I can survive at least one attack with wheezing, and I can also put poison on him. So I'll put wheezing in. I have a koga. I have one more coughing that I might be able to put in too, because I have a, I have a Koga. I, do I have another Koga? I do have another Koga. I have another Koga and a coughing in the deck, I think, right? Yeah, so depending on what I get next turn, I might be able to stall this out more, you know? I don't want to put Pinchurkin down yet, so. And he only does 60 damage to this, so it depends on what we get next turn, really. Hopefully we get wheezing. I mean, hopefully we get coughing next turn. Because I can cycle these bad boys out and then, you know. Does he have Sabrina? He might have Sabrina. Is he going to back up? He's probably deciding which energy he wants to, like, get off now. I think he's going to back up with Alakazam. Mm -hmm. He has another Koga. I think I lose, man.
but even Pinshurkin dies next turn. If I would have gotten my wheezing instead, we could have won this game, but we didn't get wheezing, so. I don't have two points to work with. What do you mean I just need one? Oh, you know what? You're right. You're right. And he can't, he can't put in his Kadav, his Alakazam. You're right, I do have two points. I forgot about that. How many cards he got left? Three, he might have a Sabrina. Like, is he gonna keep, he wouldn't come back up because I will kill him. And he knows that. So he has to stay out. So he's at 90, so I kill him this turn. I kill him. He loses, he loses. 80 plus to 10 on the poison. I win. I didn't even think about that. I I, I forgot that the, the points was that low for him. I totally forgot about that. Wow. I don't care. He's he he's he dies paralyzed and poisoned. <laughs> imagine imagine he um imagine paralysis and poison couldn't exist in the same like on the same Pokemon. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> exactly, man. Imagine if that was the case, though. If poison couldn't, um, in parallel, parallel, I would have been trying to get a tails right there, because it forces you to flip. That's crazy. Good day, sir. You would have put that ugly. Butt face Pokemon into Paralyzed Weezing, force him to kill you. Oh no, we got it. For you, it's all for you. Do we have ads? Kiki, we can do ads. All righty then. Guys, if you're in here and you're new, what I would love for you to do is check out the YouTube. I would love for you to subscribe, but if you just put the video on in the background, that would be fan. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Fan what loopy, it would be a fan what? Fan what loopy, it would be fan what? <laughs> Apparently nothing. I will never know what it was gonna be. When you say run them, I'm waiting two, min two more minutes. I didn't. I thought that's what I thought that was the understanding we had. <laughs> I thought that's what we had. <laughs> oh yeah, Kunk, I uh, I showed Kiki the emotes.
Oh, I never said Kiki was a bad mod. I, I'd never say that. <laughs> it's like that, you know that, you know that, uh, that, that video where the guy was talking to his kids and he was like, he said, oh, pizza, pizza. Why are we eating pizza? We're getting pizza. And he was like, yeah, cause I'm a bad dad. And his son was like, no, you're not. You're a great dad. We love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so it was so it was so sad, but also like funny. He's like he's like yeah, it was some bad dad. Loopy just deciding monologues are back in fashion. I I do that before the ads all the time. Cosmo would understand. <laughs> Pretty sure he gave me a good hand, but hey. It's all for you. It's all for you. He definitely gave me like a, a good hand. Dude was dude was tripping, man. What's he doing? He's lost now. He's he lost now. This is why red card is so bad. Unless he unless he has another red card. Unless he has another red card. He's definitely lost unless he's done that. Like he gets his he gets his lightning energy, but what else does he have? Does he have any Pokeballs? Does he have a way to get out of this conundrum that he's in? But if he puts something else in, it's not gonna be able to survive because I'm gonna do 80 damage next turn unless he gets another red card and he has to stop me. But he only has two chances. Will he be conceding or will we be defeating? I don't know, but what's he gonna put up in head? Oh, he's got a Kangaskhan. He's gonna back that Dratini up. That sounds weird and he's gonna put in that Kangaskhan, but I'm not afraid of that Kangaskhan. He's gonna put that lightning energy on that dragon there. Oh, he put on a Kangaskhan. That was really weird. Red card again, that's his last one. Oh my God, this guy is amazing. He's got the things he need. Can I get another Electros? I can't get one right now, that sucks. Oh man, this guy might actually be cooking. He might actually be cooking. Oh God, no. Okay, he's doing 30 damage now. I'm a little upset about that, but we'll see what we're gonna do. We'll do what we can. We got a Tynamo. We'll throw the Tynamo out there. That's the best thing I can do. We're gonna go into the wheezing. I'll just go ahead and put some points on Pinchurikin. There's no reason not to at this point. Um, I guess I could also do Sabrina right now and I could just get him out of here. I'm not really gonna be worried about this then I'm gonna just hit this dragon there because it's the last one he's got and, and I don't really want it up here so maybe he can lose that other point of power he has on it as well my my deck has no pathetic cards meow that's right oh no it's Kangaskhan again if he gets two heads then he can defeat me but maybe this turn I'll get a professor and I can get my electrolysis is that what it's called? I don't know. Oh no, he's got one head and he only got one. So that's good. I'm happy about that. Cause if he wouldn't have done that, then I would have died. Now I may want to get this out cause I'm going to be dying next turn. So that's not good. I'm going to just back up. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to back up. We're going to retreat the Edie. We're going to go into Wheezy Edie. We're gonna we're gonna go a uh, a gas leak a Reno. We gonna fart on him. Then we'll end our turn. Now we ain't gotta worry about we ain't gotta worry about 
No red cards no more. They can't hurt us no more. They no longer exist in this here match because I don't use them. And he, he's already lost all of his. We do have to worry about a sad Brina though. A sad Brina is something we do have to think about. I don't know why he would go through the trouble to do that, but that's fine. I can still attack this thing next turn. I may be able to paralyze it. Even if he gets two heads, we still live. We still live though. And I'm willing to sacrifice this pin shuriken. And he doesn't get any he doesn't get any lightning energy next turn either, so this is pretty good for us. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna live my life. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with a thunder shock. Now Kangaskhan is gonna die too eventually, you know. And we got ourselves another heads, everybody. We're doing good. This is the inner monologue of a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Right. Hooba dooba dooba, scriba dooba daba, jibba doop bop beep boop. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna potion him up. Well, that only healed ten energy because ten ten because you know we're gonna we're gonna bring it back. You know, so you get you get another water energy next turn too, buddy. So just keep that in mind. You can't do a goddamn thing with that, right? So you know what, man? I'm low key tidy this shit, so I'm not even gonna like. I'm just gonna like put electric in. Like, why wouldn't I do this? It, it's just free real estate at this point, right? We just kill him. We're just gonna kill him. And then, then what's he gonna do? Put in me out? <laughs> that ain't right. That's not the right answer. We don't We don't even need electro electrolysis or whatever his name is. I can't remember. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, buddy. With your stupid dragon eye deck. I ain't got time for your BS. Long eel style. He tried. He really did try. Too bad. I don't know. Two red cards into a conceit. He gave us what we needed. I love red cards. They're the best card in the game. Please keep using them, everybody. Please. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, be sure to check out any of these videos over here. Uh, pretty sure there'll be some stuff that you'll enjoy and I appreciate you guys for checking out the content. I'll catch you guys later. Peace